Welcome back to White Coat Medicine. I'm Carlos Ornado. And I am Dr. David Cruz. Today we're going to continue our topic on uh, diabetes. And one of the most important things is when the patient gets diagnosed, David, what is the process where, where the patient gets told you're diabetic and how does the doctor decide how I'm going to treat it? Well, <clears throat> I think initially we, after we look at the labs, we kind of take a look at your numbers. And by your numbers, I mean your hemoglobin A1C. Correct. Your hemoglobin A1C kind of gives us an indication how your sugar has been running for the last three months. Therefore, we get a very clear picture of that. Um, and once we do that, and we usually will tell you, or your doctor will tell you, your hemoglobin A1C level was at this level. Anything above 6.5 is diabetes. Um, and so from there, we determine what medication we're going to give the patient if we are going to give them medication. Okay. Do, do you look at it like uh, if they're like at 6 or 6.2? Do you consider that treatment or is that something that you discuss with the patient about what you can do? I discuss that with the patient. I, I let them know that there is possibility to start diabetic medications before you even become diabetic. There is a, a level which we call pre-diabetes that in that level we can say we can control your sugar better and it might be of great benefit to you and we discuss that with the patient. Now. Usually, we start the patient on metformin, and I think today maybe we should talk about metformin. Yeah, metformin is just like one of the oldest uh, medications that, uh, as doctors, we get used to using. I guess it's so simple, and it's uh, inexpensive, and our patients uh, can do well with it and get started. Not everybody is a candidate for uh, a type of metformin. They're not all going to be using uh, this kinds of medications. And so metformin comes in different forms. There's a form that uh, is long acting, I guess, maybe once a day. And sometimes I put patients on three times a day, a regular dose. But the, the job of that medicine is for patients to get used to and comfortable on taking a medication that's safe. Uh, and, I, and I guess the question would be, when is it not a good time to take that medicine. Right. <clears throat> well, we know that the, like you said, the metformin does decrease your sugar level. And, and it does decrease it in those several ways. Your liver is going to make less sugar. And then your cells are going to take up more sugar because it helps your cells respond better. But when is it not safe to give it? Well, there's several uh, reasons you wouldn't give that medication. One uh, is if your kidneys are not working properly. If your kidneys are not working properly, that medication is not going to be a very good candidate for you because it's going to create an acidity in your body that may, may lead to big problems for you. Um, the other thing is we don't want to give it to people that have liver problems. And I personally would not give it to somebody that has chronic diarrhea because a lot of times metformin for the first two weeks may give you a little bit more diarrhea and, and then it gets better. And then it goes away. That's a very um, good point. That people, that, you know, are not aware about that. The chronic diarrhea can be very, you know, too many side effects. Your patients won't take it. Right. Or they'll go, you know, what's going on here? Right. There's a lot of patients that won't take it. Some of them would tell me, I only take it once a day because if I take it twice a day, I'm in the bathroom all day long. And so that's something that you might want to talk to your doctor about. Exactly. And sometimes <laughs> they ask me, can I take that with, you know, a glass of wine or a glass of uh, or a beer and so you know this is something that is not recommended you just make the acid worse that you were talking about lactic acid that mm -hmm. can be very uh, detrimental to some of the patients those are the reasons and maybe the most common reasons yeah. that we won't use metformin but in general it's a great starting uh, medication right that uh, we can count on and have less side effects. It's not as costly, and more importantly, it does the job for the patient. It does do the job, and we have <laughs> patients of all ages on that medication doing well. Your doctor will do periodic levels to see, one, how your A1C is doing, to see if it's the only medication you're gonna need. 
and also to check your kidneys. And we'll be checking your kidneys periodically as well to make sure we don't have to take you off that medication. Exactly. And stressing the point that Dr. David said is your diet and your exercise are always going to be the first thing, right? Right. And the medicine on top of that. So it's a great tool and uh, we look forward to talking to you about other great medications that we can help you uh, decide and learn more about with diabetes. Yeah, stay tuned on the next videos and thank you for watching White Coat Medicine.